Guys, my name's Annoying Llama. How you guys doing? Um, I am here back. Okay, sorry this is like really bad quality. If this is not, then we are good. But um, yeah, we are going to make a video right now. And uh, this is the greatest quality. The problem with the broadcast, try lowering it. I am at the lowest freaking broadcast quality, and it's still saying I'm messing up, so I really don't care at the moment. But uh Alright, you So I am at the lowest quality setting. Um, sorry about that. It's shitty about the graphics. This is not really good. So what we're gonna do is try leveling this Warframe. I just want to show you guys one sec. Oh no, it's over the leveling bar. Damn. Or what you guys can't see it at the moment, but what you guys are gonna see, what you guys know is that this is at my freaking warframe that you're level eight right now. But you don't see that because my face is in front of it. Hey, but um, yeah, you don't see it at the moment. But in the meantime, we're gonna get started with this. We're just gonna level this guy up now. If I ever go quiet, that means I'm trying to focus on the game. So hate is gonna hate. So yeah, um. You're not doing that because that is freaking pain in the ass. They, I swear to God, they literally one shot you. So I'm not gonna do that shit. But I'm just gonna try to level up my Warframe, get my Trinity up back to about 20 of them, and I'm gonna start doing solo missions on my own. But of course, people are not gonna be playing on this one because this one's like really died out. Which is people stop playing. So um, yeah, let's get this baby started. Um. Yeah, um, speaking of which, I, I'm gonna, right now, I'm just gonna talk about a few things about what's kind of happening, it's such a great time to start doing that, so, in the meantime, as we're killing people 24-7-365, more part of what I grind, um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing this, so, what's been happening in my life, uh, I've been taking graphic designing class in high school, freaking been awesome. I don't know if I ever told you about the homecoming story, but I was able to grind during homecoming. Um, like, I was able to grind about women and girls. So, roll the record. Take that smoothie. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else did I talk about? Oh yeah, what else has been happy in my life? Well, I've been sitting Christmas decorations. If you see the background looks dirty, it's actually not. It's just the, the table reflecting off of that. I thought you on this side. Uh, table's reflecting off of that in the background, and um, yeah, so it's not dirty. But back to the story. Yeah, I've been I've been doing lots of graphic designing stuff. It's been fun. Damn it! They're gonna get to the thing, and I might lose this as they get to the thing where I do, and, and I'm already losing. Shit. I'm already. God dang it! Where, where are they? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this. I am gonna lose this on the first fucking wave. This is gonna be sad. That is moments of YouTube. Oh no. No, 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 you asshole, no, no, don't be an asshole, guys, don't be an asshole, come on, don't be an asshole to me, come on, there you go, the other asshole's that. yeah, so I've been doing lots of things, and, um, been doing lots of things with my, uh, YouTube channel, not really that much, but if you guys never watched the live stream, of when I was actually like, actually like level 20 stuff, you should probably check that out, by the way, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna officially start making my videos on Twitch. Like, I'm gonna give it on Twitch and then post it on YouTube. You know, so technically it's not a live stream. I'm actually just trying to make the video in general, but this is the only way I can really do it at the time. Hopefully, on Christmas, I hope we get, hopefully get a capture card. And it'll be nice to get a capture card for Christmas. I want the capture card. Oh, Christmas. Oh. Lagging hard. I'm sorry. It's like really lagging. 
There we go. So the weapon I have now is Oberon. No, not Oberon. Oh. No, it's Orthos. No, there you go. Like a mouse. And, um... You know, I just love shooting people in the head and stuff. And on. I need to get rid of it. Um. All they do is just stay in the middle and just not get killed. Then go out there, be greedy, being, being greedy will just get me killed and make me lose. Oh, I got blessing. Did not see that. And I'm level 10. Holy crap, I did not see that. I literally was just level 8. Unless I must got bonus XP from the last round where I got level 8. So. Hey. I got blessing. If you don't know what blessing does, it heals my entire shield and everything. Uh, Trinity is a badass class. I'll tell you that. You're able to survive so long with this class. It's not even funny. Your little ass down there. Fucker, stop jacking off in front of this thing, shit. And thanks to my carrier, not only that it's able to attack more entire oh, shit little fucking monsters and shit. Well, these guys. Um, I am able to you know shoot the dude shit kill shit, you know. It's a job to do and it also helps allows me to get grab more fucking items, so does this job at the same time as kill motherfuckers like James Bond up in here. So, yeah, back to talking about my life before we talk about the game. Um, yeah, so I've been doing lots of things in life. You know, family's been going well. Nothing bad's really happening. I'm able to see my nephew a lot more. He's about to turn one on February 26th. Yeah, February 26th. No, 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 actually, no. I keep thinking there's 27 days, but I keep forgetting there's like 28. I guess every leap year, I guess, so. Shit, it's so fucking confusing in February, but he's, he's born two days before mine. I just know that for sure. Because I'm born on March 1st, sadly, the same day as Justin Bieber. Um, but yeah, uh, he's born on March 1st. I mean, I, I'm born on March 1st. <laughs> uh, stupid me. I'm born on March 1st, and he's born on two days before me. So, yay. The other way around. I always thought that was only always like 28 days in February. I forgot about the leap year shit, and I don't like that. Leap years are like four years shit. Put in the fucking comments if it's like if I'm wrong about this. By the way, put in the fucking comments. That'd be fucking nice. Um. Also, yeah, I've been keeping this channel nice and alive. So people who live in Iowa, if you live in Iowa, you go to Cedar Rapids. That's a cupcake shop that my friend's uh, parents own really good cupcakes called My Cupcake Place, go there, go there, and um, eat some motherfucking cupcakes, it's good as shit, if you don't know where it is, I don't know the exact location, I just know we go there, get cupcakes, eat, have fun, we're all happy, so yeah, it's really good cupcakes guys, it's like, if you want some nice ass cupcakes, nice ass flavor, like margarita cupcakes, I am not shitting you, that's actually a real one, and it's fucking good as shit, with real alcohol, yeah, you're going to fucking enjoy this shit. Now, it's not like you're going to get drunk off of like, hey, don't eat while driving. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it would be nice, you know, just to go up. But yeah, back to my life, that's actually that's actually part of it, too. Um, my parents, oh, I'm not my parents, my friend's parents, the ones that own the cupcake place, um, I think, you know, it's like a shop for cupcake place, so like, and, um, they actually opened up a shop, and I went there recently, and it's fun, and as I was talking to the, uh, well, I'm gonna say his name, John, he told me about the Wacom tablet, and, uh, so, it's like basically this tablet you basically draw on, and you're able to use it to draw from the little tablet thing, to the, and it hooks up to the computer and shit, and you can probably get it from there, you can probably look it up if you want, I probably might just put it in the description, so. yeah, but, uh, you can put it about what's it all, what's it all about and stuff, but, you know, freaking awesome. I, I actually got to test it out because my graphic design teacher, which was close, had one. So he let me use it during class and it was fucking awesome. And this one's like the really expensive ones where it's like 
like really expensive ones where it's like has actually has a screen on it but the ones they had at school was just like the board in general like the board of it so you know it's, it's, it's complicated to use at first but then you get like used to it really really fast and of course you're gonna make some shitty drawings at first but then like you'll probably get better at it you know you know you got some buttons on there to keep yourself on there and I heard like well I know that most YouTubers who actually make animated stuff are able to use that uh, use that a lot and stuff like the screen ones they really good and stuff but it's nice you know he just killed himself dumbass See, this, this ability called link is like the coolest shit ever like i never really used it at first but then when i started using it like more of um god uh more of a more things and stuff, like more encounters and shit. It is so fun to use. They just kill themselves like rapidly. If somebody does massive damage to you, not only that it increases your defense, but it reflects the damage right back at them. So it's a cool ass fucking damage. Kill it. Nice to kill somebody with. Oh, look at that! I just leveled up. Boom shaka laka crack a dang baby. Um, but yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. I'm gonna get off of this of race 5, because I know I cannot solo this later on. Try, trust me. When I first tried to try doing this mission, this was the hardest goddamn mission ever. I literally had to get four friends on here to actually try it, and because of this map, I actually met the guild that I'm on right now. So if you ever play with Warframe, um, Warframe right now on your Xbox One, um, then uh, I advise you. No, no, where are you? Damn it, son of a bitch! Son of a on YouTube, technically aka a YouTube video, so hey, uh, you're, I'm going to be talking, so if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. So yeah, we are um, here with the group, um, we 
infestation with these ugly bastards and uh, yeah, they say little fucks, you know, that's what they, what they guys are, infestation little fucks. And I hope they go suck on the fucking dick, I don't fucking like them, you're assholes. Yeah, let's get this shit started. Um, yeah, so what was I talking about? Fuck, I forgot what I was just talking about. Um, yeah, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah, son of a bitch. Kill these motherfuckers today. Gonna kill these motherfuckers today. If you try to fuck with me, I will fuck you in the ass when I'll fuck these motherfuckers today. Gonna kill these motherfuckers today. Gonna kill these motherfuckers today. I could try to go back with all the cold sets back because I'm killing these motherfuckers today. Yeah. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna whoop that ass. You motherfucker, if you fuck with me. Motherfucker, I'll kick your ass with my trinity Oh, I'm gonna whoop your ass today Oh, I'm gonna whoop your ass today Hey, 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 I'm gonna whoop your ass And you don't have to do that fast Cause you know I'm gonna whoop your ass today I'm in a dumb bar I'm feeling ways And I'm trying to get it, hey And never got a fucking trinity class Motherfucker, so I'm gonna whoop your ass Oh, I'm gonna kill your motherfuckers today Motherfuckers today. I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers. I'm gonna kill you everywhere. I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers. Today. It's not called. I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers. Today. I know you. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue with my life story. Um, do this. Else. So uh, yeah, I. I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. I was talking about love. That's right. Um, so yeah, I was talking about love, and love is hard, but I'm gonna tell you like a little story. It'll, it'll make guys say, holy shit, dude, I don't know how the fuck you were surviving. The one, I am... Um... Okay, so I'm gonna put it out here, like, I quit it on like so many girls, and I've fallen in love with so many girls, that's cool. And it's so hard, and I don't really care at the moment, like, the fact I'm talking about it is kind of weird, but um, I'm talking about it because you know it's just it's fun to enjoy. It's fun to have that moment. It's fun to have that moment where it's like, oh yeah, I I like you, and then she like either rejects you or just like lets you off easy. And it's nice to have that moment. Cause it's like feel important. You know what? I did something great, and if, I don't care if I look like a pussy while doing it, like, I did something fucking great. You better wreck your, better check yourself before you wreck yourself, and it's like, it's fun, and I like it. I like doing these things, putting myself in these situations, so at least I get better at it, you know? Someone better. But I like putting myself in these situations. Love. Heavy ass shit, man. You guys have love stories and shit that are really not really sad, but like, you know, it's like the moment where it's like you got rejected, but you felt nice doing it because you know, you like, you know that you wouldn't do it really any other time. Post that shit on the fucking comments, okay? Post that shit on the fucking comments. Like, like, link that shit in the comments below, man. I would love to hear your story. Fuck you, you infested fuck. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Don't worry, man. I got this.
Ah, oh, nice. I got, I got boss. Looking here, killing motherfuckers before this shit finish. So yeah, I've been, yeah, I love. Yeah, post that shit in your comments. Post that shit on my side. The comments below. That'd be awesome. <sighs> Guys, to like get somebody to get a story up in there. Um, about how they got love and shit. And now, if you also tell me some fucking stories about how love, like you got love in the, like the craziest way ever, because just last week my friend just actually got his girlfriend. Bear with me here. Uh, he got his girlfriend. <sighs> How's the best way I can put it without sounding like the worst story ever? This is the coolest shit ever, by the way. So he basically. He basically, okay, I'll start from the beginning, um, he liked this girl, right, and she liked him, you know, same classical, oh my god, oh my god, somebody likes this guy, this girl likes him, well, the thing is, she's really, um, dirty, and so one day, one day, uh, the two, <laughs> the two people fell in love, and they fall so much in love that they uh, not have sex, but they started making out without going out. And it was weird how he did it too. He's like literally walked up to her in the middle of what the hell they were doing. Like, you know, she's, I think she, yeah, she was talking to her friends. That's what happened. She was talking to her friends, and uh, he walked up to her. And he's like, hi. She's like, oh my god, hi. How you doing? Because she likes him, he likes her. And of course, they both know it, but they just one of them has just asked them out. He just walks up to her and like grabs her by the back and is like, like makes out. He was like, mm, like making out with this girl. Like he was like, he was ravaging her with the hair, with his lips and their tongues. And it was like, it wasn't like, it, was, it sounded like um, home, uh, last year's homecoming when these two lesbian girls took uh, ecstasy and uh, were making out in the corner and it sounded like freaking two Bigfoots like running, <laughs> going through like, <laughs> but it, it was pretty cool, um, but it, it was less of that and more like, mm. It was like they were making out, like they're friends, and I'm just like standing there, cause I'm I'm like there at the time, and he, we're just like standing there, and I see one of her friends and stuff, and I'm like hi, and they're like oh hey, and uh, of course they're freshmen, and my friend's a sophomore, and the girl he's making out with is also a freshman, so I guess they like each other for a while, but yeah, he was making out with her, and so after that they still didn't ask each other, they're just like oh that's cool, huh? I'll see you uh, tomorrow and stuff. And they're like, she's like, oh my god, yeah. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow too. And uh, it was the funniest shit, guys. Um, so what also then, uh, what happened next was the coolest shit. Like the next day, um, we see her at the school. And uh, yeah, we see her at the school and it was fucking awesome. Wait, did I see it last week? Yeah, I forgot, like, Thanksgiving break was last week. Sorry for that miscount of the story. It was actually three weeks ago. I don't know why I went. Mine was like, I actually just 12 o'clock, like, it's like 1 o'clock right now, so that's why my mind's like going out. But sorry, it was three weeks ago. But the next day on that three weeks ago, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> um, um, basically, he sat right next to her and she was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And, um,. That's the coolest shit ever. He reached down for his dick. Like, she literally reached down for this motherfucker. And he was like, oh. So he reached down for her vagina. And it was weird, but at the same time, like, they did, when they did that, they got aroused. And so he was, and like, at the same time, they were like, you want to go out? I was like, damn. Dude, the fuck? Like, they, they fucking asked each other at the same time just by fucking grabbing each other's like, you know, good, you know, and that's, I think that's the fucking craziest way to ask out, a, to ask out somebody, you know, I seen my friend last year, and I actually, yeah, last year, he was like really ripped and shit, and he asked out a girl by going up to her with a really tight shirt, like a really, really, really tight shirt, but like showing all his abs, like, he like, showing all the abs and stuff, 
he walked in and he was like, oh, hey, he's just like talking to her, and then he was like, he was going to flex, and then when he flexed, like, the shirt ripped, and it didn't like, just like, just, like, a, like a little tiny rip, I mean, it fucking shattered, like, it, it was like, shh, and like, the, you know, the entire middle part was like, shh, like, off, and you can see, like, his little, like, glistening muscles, like, you know, just glistening muscles, you like, just saw all of it, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> like like all this this she was like ha and he's like so you wanna go out she's like I'm like damn so there's many ways for people to ask out girls and if you guys have a fucking crazy story guys also put that in the comments I don't wanna fucking fill it up with some sad shit. But yeah um So this is a fucking story right there um there's ways I've asked out girls in the not crazy like how I went out with my girlfriend in third grade. Um, it, it was it was a crazy like she was the most evil girl in school. Like, she was the only third grade with like actually she was a fourth grade at the time because in Mark Twain in Iowa they have third graders and fourth graders put together in the same class. Which, um, her name was April. Awesome, um, awesome girl, awesome gal of the street, and um, yeah, she 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 was fucking evil as shit. Like I, she was the fucking like evilest girl you can ever meet in history. Like she was she was a she was the definition of a bitch. But I didn't see her as that because I was like I'm used to dealing with bullies and shit. So nice for me to do it. Um. So yeah, she liked me because I have long hair, um, and so we started going out. The way we went out was that she like told us to get out of our seats and, like for lunch and shit. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get out my seat. And she was like, we, uh, I said, she's like, I'm telling you, you better get out your seat or else you're gonna get. I don't know why people say this one. You're gonna get a knuckle sandwich. And of course, I laughed at that because I'm, I'm just so like dumbfounded. Like a bully will say knuckle sandwich shit. Like that's like the dumbest shit. Like part say I'm gonna fuck your brains out, but eh, whatever, whatever tickles your pickle, man. I didn't say that, but I'm saying right like, now. But um, I was like, no, I'm not gonna get out my seat. We have the right to be in the seat, and I love it, and I'm not gonna give it up. And so she was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna beat you up, and I'm like, bring it on. And so, it was, it, like, right after lunch, we have recess and stuff, so we go out from the recess, and right as we're making the first punch, like, right as we're making the first punch, I thought she was, and I wanted to feel her boob, so I was like, you know what, I'd rather get beat up and then get some, than not get some, and then get my ass kicked, you know? So, as we're re actually going in for the first punch, it's like that moment where, like, the two punches collide, like, you know, just, like, collide together, and I go past it, and I hug her. And, uh, yeah, she was like, oh. And I'm like, so, um, yeah. And she was like, oh, okay. She's like, I kind of like you too. And I'm like, you got nice boobs. <laughs> and then she was like, thanks. She's like, you had really nice hair. And I was like, thanks. She was like, want to go out? I'm like, yeah, sure, I don't know how to do it most of the time, but yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll go out. So technically, that was my first real relationship. You know, the kindergarten, I kind of went out with a second grader for like a day. But, uh, um, but yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, we started going out and stuff. It actually lasted, that was actually my last longest relationship ever. I'm not shitting you about that. That was actually last like two or three months. But it was fun. Like, she had really bad mood swings, by the way. And, uh, um, she, uh, really, like, she couldn't really control it, like, literally every single hour, and I'm not shitting you, like, it was, like, fucking, like, 8.30, I think that was, like, a time when she, like, had the mood swing, it was, like, 8.30, and boom, mood swing, and it's, like, but it's, like, she could be happy, then go sad, and it's random what the emotions are, but you know when they're gonna, when she's gonna turn to those emotions, it was actually a fucking certain time, I forgot what it was. I think it was 8.30 or 8.40. I forgot. No, it wasn't like, it was like every hour. It was like one every hour. But it was like 8.30 and then 9.30 and 10.30. But it was kind of like that. 
and I forgot what time it was. I, I always had I had on my old phone and shit. But it was actually I had to set an alarm. And she told me what time it was, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set this alarm, letting me know by every single hour you're gonna be in this certain emotion. And some days, like some it was like some like Tuesdays she'll have like angry, sad, happy, sad, happy, happy. Like she'll be happy for like two hours and then like then she'll be angry again. But like every like day of the week she'll have like a different emotion and it was like so fucking weird how her brain was able to do that which made no sense whatsoever because she'll literally go from happy then she'll get fucking sad like she'll just like just go out bawling crying and like i'll just like sit next to her but like, it's okay it's okay and then like the next and then like i remember one time she was actually crying in the hallway this time it was unusual because it was off her time it was like i never expected her to start crying because i figured the alarm would go off and then she'll start crying and she was just crying, and I'm like, okay, hold up, like, why is she crying? This is not her time. It's not the time yet! She's supposed to be in her happy state. She's crying, and then, all of a sudden, my alarm pops up. It was like, doo -doo, doo -doo. and I'm like, oh, shit. And I look at it, and it says angry, and happy. It doesn't think it was, I guess, like, her mood swing kicked in early. So it was like, she was in a happy mood for, like, 30 minutes or so. I'm just guessing off the time, but I didn't know exactly what time it was. But it was, like, 30 minutes or so. And then, like, the other 30 minutes, and she went to sad mode, and I didn't know this. So I'm thinking that she's just, like, she was in the sad mode for the entire hour. But when she, the alarm came, it was at her angry state. Luckily, it was calculating her a angry state. So... She got pissed off and like she literally like grabbed me by the neck like like she, uh, and like she was fucking strong by the way she was like she was like those girls that you don't want to fuck with because they will fucking kick your ass but yeah she grabbed me by the neck and like threw me like of course I'm not lying to the hallway like fucking Superman and shit but like Superman but you know I'm like holy shit I don't know why I'm not playing the game by the way um but I'm like holy shit and she throws me and I'm like holy fucking shit and Things go get really crazy after that. Like she gets all mad. She just had to hold her down like usual. And yeah. Yes, what on this one? But yeah, it is. It is cool. I like it. It was a good relationship though. No matter what, like even when her happy state, she also had a little secret state. I didn't want to let you guys know, but you know, I was like, fuck it. When is she ever gonna watch this video? Oh. Uh, but yeah. And she jumped in the. Uh, always equal sex. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, she always like, equal sex. Okay, so, yeah, she always had a horny stage. And that horny stage is able to actually to actually able to fucking control it in the way that you think control it. Like, she is pretty good when it controls her horny stage. Like, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about. She wants to, when she wants to fuck, she wants to fuck. And I didn't fuck her, of course. She was like, hey, Adrian, let's go into the bathroom. I'm fucking so hard. And I'm like, okay. Like, hold up. We're like third graders. So we don't play that up in here. Like, I'm a, I'm a kid. We're both kids. We gotta keep our minds together, you know? Now, the average guy would be like, oh, well, I know what I'm doing on this day or Tuesday and shit. And I'm like, fuck you here. But, um, yeah. I was gonna play that out of my house. Um. Uh. Um. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. So she was, she was pretty fucking cool. I really liked her a lot. It, the relationship ended because she hit me really hard, and I got really mad, and she got mad. And when we both get mad, then shit goes happen, like shit happens and stuff. And yeah, it was, it was sadly, sad and how it ended, but...
Alright.